Hey, this is Manny Fresh for another tutorial. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to set up the uh, PS4 remote play between your PS4 and the PC. So on your PS4, the first thing you need to do is you need to go to your settings. From within your settings, you wanna go down and click on remote play connection settings. By default, yours is gonna look like that. You wanna make sure that enable remote play is selected as well as the second one below it. The third option, add device, will give you a number and this is to register manually. You could register your PlayStation on your PC two ways, either with the code that you see here or if the uh, PlayStation and the uh, computer are on the same network, it will try to fetch for that PlayStation. Or if you are on a remote connection, but are signed in with the PS4 credentials on the application on your PC, then you don't need this code. And I'll show you what I mean here in a second. So I'm just gonna remember that code there that you see. Then I'm gonna switch the input over to my PC. So on your PC, you need to download this application here called PS4 Remote Play for PC. So you could Google that, or you could check the link in my description. So once you open the application, this right here will show. The first thing you need to do is you need to go to settings before anything. In your case, you're gonna be signed out so once you click sign in, it's gonna give you a pop-up for you to enter your PS4 credentials. Make sure you do that. This is where you manage your resolution. I suggest if you're not hardwired for PC and your PS4, then you wanna keep it as standard. But if you have a good network where both devices are hardwired, you could go ahead and try 720 and see how that looks. For your frame rate, I'll leave it standard. I'll leave this like that and then click OK. So once I hit start, what it's gonna do is gonna try searching for my PlayStation that is on my home network. If you were to do this away from your house, it will try to fetch for your PS4 with the internet connection uh, with the uh, PlayStation credentials that you used here. But if you are at home and you want to try it out, then it will try to use your local connection. So here you click start. And you see here, register manually. This is where you will type in the code and the code is the code that I showed you earlier that appear on the PlayStation. And you have about 300 seconds or something like that to type it in. So you will type that code in, in the field here. If you don't want to do it with the code, then you could try doing it automatically. It will try searching for your PS4. And sometimes this works and sometimes it doesn't. If it doesn't work for you, then definitely use that code. I'm going to wait a little bit to see if it works. So this is what I was talking about. It takes a long time and sometimes it doesn't even find my PlayStation even though I'm on the same network. So I'm just gonna go ahead and register manually. And I'm gonna use that code. All right, and then click register. Okay, now it's connecting to the PS4. All right, now I got my PlayStation remote. 
And the only way the PlayStation remote works is if you plug it in with the cable to your PC. There you go, I connected the uh, PlayStation remote and it made the sound on the PC. And now I can move around. If you move your mouse, you're gonna see here the mic. So you take that out and you can plug in a mic in your PS4 remote and people will be able to hear you. Also, you can go through the options here and click as if you were having the remote on your hands. But if you got the remote, then you could just do the same thing by pressing the button. Now, look at the quality. The quality is 540 and it's still kind of laggy. And that's because I have both devices on their Wi-Fi. So in my case, I may even have to go 360 on quality if I even wanted to play. But even then, the quality is pretty bad. This is why I recommend you being hardwired for both devices. All right, but basically that's how you set up the uh, PS4 remote play between your PC and your PS4. If you have any questions, leave your comment below. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.